In this video, we are going to go over a typical four month schedule that you can use as a reference while preparing for your FE electrical and computer exam. In a separate video, I have addressed the question as to typically how long does it take to prepare for the FE electrical and computer exam. It depends on multiple factors that I've discussed in that video. So if you're interested in that, please check that out. But for this video, we are going to review the milestones on a weekly basis that you should be targeting, that you should be trying to achieve if you're working with a four month schedule. Now I've selected the four month schedule because this tends to be the typical timeline that students aim for while preparing for the FE exam. Now, if your starting point is higher, if you already are a fresh student, a recent graduate, and you already know a lot of these topics, then you might be able to condense it into three and a half months, maybe even three months, maybe even two months. If you've been out of school for a lot of time and have not been in touch with academics, then this four month schedule will probably be four and a half, five, or even six months. And the underlying assumption is that you're putting in anywhere between 15 to 20 or maybe up to 25 hours. So in this video, we will tackle all of the major milestones that can help you keep your exam preparation on track and give you an idea of how much you should be accomplishing, what you should be accomplishing at any, during any given week of this 16 week or four month exam preparation schedule. So let's get started. Let us now start with month number one of FE Electrical and Computer Exam Preparation. I would like to remind once again that as we observed earlier, FE Electrical and Computer Exam can test you on almost all areas of your four years of undergraduate engineering. To some of you, four months may appear as a very short amount of time to cover 17 sections, and for others, it may seem like a very large amount of time. But as you will see soon, it is a very streamlined schedule and if followed properly, it will provide you enough time to prepare for this exam. I categorize months one and two as first review cycle months. Basically, in these two months, your goal should be to go through all exam topics. My formula is to use a combination of theoretical reviews and practice problems to prepare for each section. For the first week, I'm suggesting three days of theoretical reviews of math, then two days for probability, and then two days for engineering um, economics. Second week is dedicated to theoretical review and practice problems for properties of electrical materials and engineering economics. Third week is dedicated to theoretical review and problem sets of circuit analysis and linear systems. And fourth week is dedicated to theoretical review and problem set of signal processing and electronics. I recommend using month number one formula during month number two as well until you complete first review cycle of all 17 sections. As you can notice, I haven't allotted even a single day break in this schedule. Another important fact that I'd like to point out is that it is extremely difficult to conduct a thorough review of each section in two to three days, as indicated in the schedule, unless you are using excellent exam preparation resources. For example, I have dedicated three days of theoretical review for power in schedule and one day for practice problems. Now, during the three day theoretical review of power systems, you're expected to quickly review and um, relearn maybe some of the topics for the first time, such as um, three-phase power. So if your specialization was not power systems, you might not have done a in-depth um, three-phase uh, power system review or transmission and distribution, voltage regulation, power factor, and so on. If you are working full-time, then you have to study for FE exam during the week after a full day work for four months, which is not easy. But I am here to tell you that it is doable. Hundreds of my students have done it using the right strategy and my exam preparation books and online course that will save you time, effort, and money. Once you have completed the first review cycle, I recommend dedicating the month number three to a second review cycle, but this time you should try to review all 17 sections in just four weeks as opposed to the eight weeks, which was the case in the first two months. I have grouped similar sections together to make use of the synergies and similarities between them. Moreover, I recommend focusing on areas of weakness so that you can improve your understanding and proficiency in those areas. This month will be the most difficult because you will be very tight on time and will feel the pressure. But remember that this will be your last chance to do a full review of all the 17 sections. The fourth and final month is dedicated to practice exams. 
The idea is that you start off with NCS sample exam and attempt it in an exam like setup. Then over the next few days, you take a detailed look at your incorrect answers and fully understand the underlying concept. You may be wondering as to why I have dedicated so much time for review of areas of weakness. Well, the reason is that I don't want you to simply understand solution of a particular problem. I want you to take a deep dive into the concept. For example, if you get a wrong answer to a power factor question, you should then take a look at the power triangle, understand why power factor correction results in reduced reactive power while the real power remains unchanged. In the following weeks, I want you to attempt other practice exams as well. As noted earlier, I have uh, developed three full-length practice exams. And in fact, recently I also launched a computer simulated full-length practice exam for FE electrical and computer exam. So these practice exams will help you fine tune your exam preparation, and they will also give you an idea of your readiness level for the exam. You can see that at the end of month four, you have some floaters, some rest days. So maybe they can help you fill in the gaps um, if you were not able to follow through in months one, month two, month three. So um, you do have some flexibility, but it is very limited amount of flexibility. So this is the four month schedule, which in my opinion, if you can stick with it as much as you can, then it will get you exam ready within four months. Although four months seem like a very long period of time, but as you just saw, when you're preparing for something as intense, as challenging and demanding as FE electrical and computer exam, these four months are going to fly past you. So it is very important to make sure that you are hitting all of those milestones and achieving those goals, the mini goals essentially, that will help you climb the mountain and achieve your goal, the ultimate goal, which is passing the FE electrical and computer exam. If you're looking for streamlined exam preparation resources that can help you fast track your exam preparation efforts, I would strongly recommend you to check out our website, www.studyforfe.com. Thank you.